The NBC channel in Riyadh has faced backlash recently on social media, on the streets and in the press. Uh, he was courageous and he was not a coward as they claim. In a bold move, Saudi journalist Mohammed al-Mashari aired a contentious piece portraying Israel as fighting terrorist groups, challenging the common Arab narrative. <laughs> The well-known network, a staple in Arab homes worldwide with millions of viewers, stirred controversy by broadcasting a highly sensitive report and depicted Hamas as a deadly terrorist group, a view that is not easily accepted in Arab nations. I think they will perceive him as a fear, as a hero who fought. And I'm not defending him, him here as much as I'm stating to you the facts. Saudi officials announced an investigation into the journalist behind the report and his dismissal. He had not used the air preferred term resistance access, instead, labeling Qasem Soleimani, Abu Mahdi Mohandis, Hassan Nasrallah, Yahya Sinwar, and Ismail Haniya as terrorists. <laughs> Following the report, which angered many Arabs online, armed protesters stormed NBC's Baghdad offices early Saturday and attacked the compound. Why the Iraq's communications and media committee suspended NBC's operations and began revoking its license. The channel was accused of repeatedly breaking media broadcast rules by insulting martyrs and leaders fighting against the Zionist entity. NBC's Baghdad branch issued a statement to Iraqis distancing themselves from the broadcast and opposing its content. The unacceptable insults to our holy martyrs Leaders and respected Iraqi figures come from the main NBC channel, which has no presence in Iraq. The two channels have separate management. We strongly reject any direct insults to our martyrs and respected Iraqi figures. Due to public anger, NBC removed the article from their network and the reporter's Twitter account was deleted. <laughs> القصة واضحة جدا ان العربية وي بي سي وي سكاي نيوز وي الحدث وي الخط بتاعهم عكس خط الامة كلها وخط الحق والمنطق الجزيرة has faced similar challenges over time they removed the controversial video article questioning the holocaust credibility after it sparked outrage among american jews an article written by Joshua Cooper about Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was also taken down after he questioned his treatment of prisoners. They deleted a podcast describing Qasem Soleimani's death as the beginning of World War III. A cartoon about young Saudi girls fleeing to Europe due to gender restrictions and discriminations was seen as provocative and got taken down. Recently, Al Jazeera published then removed a false account by a Gazan woman claiming soldiers were raping women in Al-Shifa hospital. Many viewers feel frustrated and angry about the statements NBC made with their publication, especially given the current power struggles between the Sunnis and the Shias, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia and Iran, Palestinians as well. It's crucial to remember that the public in these regions is extremely attentive and they listen to everything we say. <laughs>